Hey, what's up? This is Chosen, and this is going to be a Raid Shadow Legends wrap-up video where we talk about some of the stuff going on in Raid and in the community. We've got lots to catch up on as we head into next week, including the Fusion kicking off on Tuesday. We've got Clan vs. Clan. The monthly offer is back. I have seen some of the new champions that are going to be coming to the game next week, so we've got a lot to talk about. Let's get into it. Alrighty, so first of all, the uh, the Clan vs. Clan thing is, is going to be launching as the beta. You can see here from April 13th to 15th. Now, I think it's only going to be about, yeah, 1,700 clans that are going to be participating in this beta. So don't feel bad if you're not included in that, if your clan is not featured in the beta. It's just a test for it before it goes live. And then later on, the, uh, the Clan vs. Clan will be going out to all of the clans in the game that are uh, at the threshold to be able to participate in the matchups. And then as you can see here, by my summoning portal, we've got the uh, the aesthetics here of the duplicate legendary from the Ancient Shards. That is going to be ending today. You can see here the clock of 16 hours and 7 minutes. Um, All in all, I, we, we did so, I, I did some polls on stream for viewers and stuff, and all in all, I would say... It was a positive event. Uh, I like where their head's at in terms of thinking of new ways to spice up 10x events. You can see here they, they added a couple more champions. I think typically the 10x's were 8. This one was 10. Uh, the champions in it were good. And adding the uh, mechanic here of the extra legendary uh, I think went pretty well and was a decent idea. But do remember next weekend we are probably going to be getting 2x ancients if they go by their normal rotation. That's why I'm kind of saving up and didn't YOLO. For the bonus legendary, we may be getting something big during the Dwarf Fusion that is going to be starting on Tuesday. And then we will probably be getting 2x Ancients a couple days later on like that Friday and Saturday next weekend. So remember to start getting some of your food ready. Those level 30 champions, uh, depending on how many Ancient Shards you're pulling, you're going to want to get some champions ready uh, for champion training stuff going on during the Dwarf Fusion event. I'm sure there's going to be some champ training, summon rush type events, champion chase. Uh, get your uh, food in order, level up some level 30s in preparation for pulling the Shards and all the events that are going to be going on this week launching for the Dwarf Fusion. And then speaking of the new fusion that's going to be launching on Tuesday, obviously there's going to be new champions involved with that. Uh, epics and, and champions coming to the game in honor of the fusion. And we do know those champions. I've seen them on the test server that Plarium gives us access to. But unfortunately, the, I'm not allowed to share that information with you yet. But I do already have a video recorded with my good friend Cole Brew. We did a fun collab diving into those epics and the, the new champions coming to the game. As soon as we're allowed to give you that information, I will share it with you and I will get that video sent out live so that you can see it. So hang in there. It's going to be a fun week in Raid. Lots of stuff going on this week and I will make sure you are posted as soon as I possibly can. Then in terms of what is going on in game right now, if we load up the tournaments, you can see that the Spider Tournament has got about two days left. Uh, it's a pretty normal event. I, I, I would be kind of managing your resources to really go after things and next week. We want to make sure we can go after that Dwarf Fusion. It is a very good champion, but uh, you do have an epic book up there at 2750 to keep an eye on. Uh, but, but like I said, manage your resources accordingly. Uh, there's also a Classic Arena Takedown. Those are typically the easiest ones to complete and scoop up the rewards on the right is what most people do. Uh, just kind of play your arena matches and get those rewards on the right. Uh, Champion Chase. Now, this was obviously to coincide with the bonus legendary event. And like I said, I was uh, kind of taking it easy because I want to be able to yank a bunch of Ancients during 2x Ancients. And hopefully there's like a Champion Chase or something going on for the Dwarf Fusion where I can get one of the Epics or something involved. So uh, I was kind of holding off and, and waiting a little bit. But uh, that was in honor of the Duplicate 10x Legendary event going on. And then there is a Champion Training that's going to be starting in 18 hours. But uh, be a little bit careful like because, as you know, uh, we, we've got the uh, Dwarf Fusion launching on Tuesday. So m definitely manage your resources accordingly. And then if we go under the events, uh, we've got Dungeon Divers ending in four days. Nothing super crazy to write home about on here. That's pretty standard. Uh, no Void Shard or Sacred Shard or Legendary Book or anything. So uh, not, not a super priority there. Uh, but the Fusion Warm-Up, this is totally... Uh, like, I love that they're doing this. It, it's just kind of... Basically, if you're active in the game and, and you're playing uh, your account, you're going to acquire this stuff just to kind of warm up for the fusion. And uh, in, in, uh, while we're on that subject, you want to make sure you're getting the uh, potions you're going to need. Because remember, it's an old style fusion where you've got the rares going into the epics. 
and the epics going into the legendary. Um, now, I told you about the test server. I've seen some of the new champions, like the epics and, and, and things coming to the game, but I haven't seen the structure of the fusion yet. So uh, I have no idea exactly how it's going to go, but you definitely want to make sure you're stocked up on potions and you're ready to level up champions and you, you, you've got food ready to go so that you're preparing for the dwarf fusion coming up next week. Now let's go ahead and dive into the shop. We've got some things to talk about here in terms of the offers. So let's fire up the offer sheet and let's uh, let, let's go over some of the stuff here. Okay, so um, yeah, special void pack. Um, remember, it's going to be a while yet until 2x voids. We've got a few weeks until that's going to happen. Uh, but these void offers that that are kind of the uh, the chained offers or the, or the pack strings, whatever they call them, uh, when it's that specific offer, these are typically the best ones, the void ones, in my opinion. So if I just plug this one in, this first link of the chain... We've got so seven voids, 300k silver, and 300 gems. So yeah, this is a 2.01, which is decent uh, compared to what we normally see in game. And that's about the cheapest uh, you're going to see void shards. is about three, three and a half dollars a pop in terms of getting seven for $25. That's about as cheap as you're ever going to get them. Uh, so you're going to have to weigh your options accordingly and your spending budget. But uh, this one's probably going to be one of the better pack strings. And uh, you do get this the, the, the 11 void shards for $15 here at the end. Most of these will probably be about a 1.9 to 2.1 somewhere in there and then you'll obviously get this big one here at the end so in terms of how these packs are structured usually these void ones are the best ones uh and exciting news we've got the monthly pack back it looks a little bit different uh i thought that mine used to be 50 maybe there's two different tiers maybe there's a 30 and a 50 let me know if you've got a 50 dollar one there's probably a couple different tiers maybe that's why we saw the monthly pack get delayed they were rolling out a system where it bases it on the current spending tier of your account but let me go ahead and plug this in since this is kind of a new one we finally got the uh we, we finally got it back the uh the, the monthly offer pack let's go one thousand okay and then we've got five three and one yep 2.57 so there you go. Uh, that's a pretty good monthly pack. It's just kind of your standard energy gems and shards. So uh, not a bad one to scoop up, but you've still got a couple weeks to decide on that. Divine O gear. Uh, no, typically these gear offers are not the best. Uh, bonus ancient pack. Let's go ahead and plug this. It's also 30. Let's delete this. We've got 1,000 energy. Okay. And then six energy refills. 450k silver. Three days of XP and 16 ancient shards. Uh, 1.82. I think I got everything yet. Okay, so I would rather spend on the pack string uh, with the voids instead of the bonus ancient pack. But remember, we do have two X ancients coming pretty soon. So you'll have to weigh this uh, the, the these different things here. But... Uh, I, I, this is kind of like the calm before the storm, as you've heard me say a couple times in this video. Uh, just to reiterate, we, we want to be careful about our spending and our resources because we've got a big week coming up and a lot of different things going on in-game. And then before I let you go, I do want to just let you know that tonight on stream, I'm going to be hosting a show match between some raid content creators, uh, a fun little 1v1 on Valheim. I'll talk about the details of that when we go live on stream tonight at 8 p.m. EST Sunday night, we're going to uh, have Darth Micro versus Jay Giggs and give $50 to whoever comes out on top. Both these guys have played a lot of Valheim. Uh, of the raid content creators, they, uh, these two have probably played up there around 100 hours of Valheim or so. So uh, both are pretty good, pretty knowledgeable about the game, and it'll be fun to see some raid creators uh, going at it head-to-head. -head. So uh, if you're into that, stop by on stream tonight, and I will hope to see you there. But let's put that away and wrap up. That'll uh, that'll cover for... I just wanted to have a quick conversation about some of the stuff going on in raid and what is coming up this week. Um, huge shout-out to my good friend, Cole Brew. We've got a couple fun videos coming up for you. Like I said, the one where we're talking about the champions that are coming to the game, I have seen them on the test server, and and I will release that video as soon as I can. And then also, Cole Brew and I sat down and we ranked all of the factions in terms of how hard they are for most players to complete the faction crib. We ranked them individually, and then we got together and compared our list to see kind of where our head's at and where we agree and disagree. Well, and, 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 yeah. and it's important to point out if we differ a little bit, we should default to my opinion as being right because I, <laughs> um, I, I did finish Faction Wars two weeks before you, so... We're gonna have no, to, uh... that's that's a big mistake. I actually <laughs> finished it four weeks before you. Oh come on! 
now I know you're now I know you're lying. So a couple fun videos coming up, lots of things going on in the raid community. It should be an exciting week. So I hope you've had a great weekend. And as always, thank you for watching. Have a good rest of your day. Peace.